let's make y the subject of this formula. Firstly, we can see we've got a fraction on our right hand side. So to make rearranging easier, let's multiply both sides by the denominator of the fraction and then bring all the y terms onto one side. So multiplying by y minus 3, the left hand side becomes x times y minus 3 and the right hand becomes 5 multiplied by 1 minus y. Now if we expand both sides, we've got xy minus 3x equals 5 minus 5y. Now, when we're rearranging to make y the subject, it's easiest to bring all the terms with y on one side and all the terms without y on the other side. So let's bring this minus 5y onto the left side by adding 5y to both sides, and let's bring the minus 3x onto the right side by adding 3x onto both sides. So the left-hand side becomes xy plus 5y equals 5 plus 3x. And now on our left side, we want to just have one y term. We've got two terms that have y in, so what we can do here is factorize out the y, then see what multiplies by y to get xy, just x, plus what multiplies by y to get 5y, 5. And now we've just got one y term here. The right-hand side can stay the same since there are no y terms on there. Now all we have to do is to separate the y from the x plus 5 is to divide both sides through by x plus 5. So then you get y equals 5 plus 3x over x plus 5. And this is the formula in terms of y.